All right, and I really wanted to do this question before going to sleep tonight. <clears throat> this is a, a question that had not one, but two small notebook concepts. I hope that all of you that took the class over the last month or watched the recordings uh, caught both of them in this problem and were able to capitalize on them both. It was still a little bit tricky even knowing those concepts, but if you thought about what was going on, you could figure it out with what we talked about in that class. By the way, there are more classes this Saturday and Sunday. It'll be a mini session, not the full thing. The full thing takes more than eight hours. Uh, this is only going to be a four hour class. We'll go through as many concepts as we can. Reach out to me through my website if you're interested in doing that class. This coming Saturday, what's today? Today's the 6th, so it'll be the 8th and Sunday the 9th. Today's the 6th, what's today? Today is the 6th, right? 6th Thursday, 7th Friday, 8th and 9th. They'll be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, if I don't answer back right away, I apologize. I do have work, I do have to sleep, I do need to eat, things like that. I will try to get back to your email soon for those of you that already emailed. Um, as a, also in addition, you can attend one class for free of my Friday class where we'll talk more about the 10A or my Sunday class where we'll talk more about the 12A at that time. So reach out through my channel or through my uh, website. The harmonic mean of a collection of numbers is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of the reciprocals. It's the reciprocal of the average of the reciprocals is the nice way to think of that. Uh, in the collection, for example, the harmonic mean of this, you take one third of the reciprocals, which is their average, and then it's, well, hold on. It's kind of weird the way they wrote it. Uh, the harmonic mean of 4, 4, and 5, first you would do the reciprocals, then you would divide them by 3. So you would do 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth, divide by 3, and then you would take a reciprocal. Yeah, I guess this would flip up there and works out the same way. Okay, I just, a weird way of writing it, I'm not used to that way. What is the harmonic mean of all the real roots? And this made me pause too, I wanted to make sure all the roots would be real of the 4,050th degree polynomial. This means product. So it's the product of every term that looks like this from one to 2,000 and actually it's 25 here, 2,025. Uh, and so you have all of these products, they're all trinomials and the only thing that's changing is the K values going up by one. But if you're looking for all the real roots, you would imagine that this is being set equal to zero. Sorry, my neck's got a kink in it. Um, you would imagine that this is being set equal to zero and just solve them one at a time. So what is b squared minus 4ac? Well, b squared is positive and minus four times a negative is also positive as will all of these be and therefore they're all real roots. We don't have to worry about imaginaries. Check that box off. But now we have something else. We gotta think about how, this is a great combination of these concepts, by the way. I hope you guys remember that a polynomial with reverse coefficients will have reciprocal roots to these. So in fact, we could just switch the order of all of these and we would get the reciprocals of the roots. And if I want the harmonic mean, I want the sum of the reciprocals of the roots and then we divide that by however many things there are. So, uh, for example, if I flip this one around, we will get 3x squared minus 4x plus 1, or minus uh, plus 1, negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. So again, this is a small notebook concept. When you switch the order of a polynomial's coefficients, it creates another polynomial with roots that are reciprocals of the original. So if I do that here, uh, and we also do it here, 3, negative 3x three squared minus 4x plus 2, and I start thinking, I'm looking for the sum of the reciprocals of the roots. What is that? It's Vieta's third ingredient in the problem. I hope you're baking your cake over there. So uh, that's a reference to the class that I did. So 4, Negative b is negative negative 4, so positive 4 over negative 3 is the sum of these roots, which are the reciprocals of the original roots, so it's like adding all of these reciprocals. 
Go to the next one, it's also negative 4 thirds. And you're going to keep going. And so how many of these will we get? Well, if you just keep going, every single one's going to be negative 4 thirds. This other back number, 1 and 2, and when the 3 switches, and none of them have any effect on the sum of those roots, all of which are the reciprocals of the original roots, as we said. So what I'm going to do, it's kind of interesting. If you want to average four numbers, like let's say 3, 5, 10, and 12, and I want you to average all four of these. Did you know you can average them in groups of two and then average the averages and it's equivalent? For example, this average is four and that one's 11 and I get 15 over two. What if I added all of these up? Eight and 12 is 20 plus 30 would be 30 over four, which is 15 over two. So I could just average this one term and average this term, add all of those up and average them and that would be the answer. So this is going to give me uh, 2 over negative 3, or actually negative 2 thirds. That is what the average of this one is. And then this one's negative 2 thirds. And let's say I added two of them. If I added two of them, and you went negative 2 thirds plus negative 2 thirds, and then you average those, what would you get? Negative 2 thirds. If you add something any number of times and divide by the same number of somethings, you're just going to get that value. So what does that mean? We're still not done. We only have the average of the reciprocals. We now need the reciprocal of the average of the reciprocals. So we take this negative 2 thirds and we flip it upside down to get negative 3 halves and that will be the answer. So that was a great question for all of you that took the class. There was two different small notebook concepts. I really, really hope you guys caught it. If you did, Leave a comment down below if you happen to watch this video. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.